Hello viewers. Today we will see how Global Mapper is used to predict the line of sight in this quick video. Okay, this is Global Mapper application. We need to do two things first. First, we have to load the terrain data and then we have to load the sites and links into the Global Mapper. Okay, uh, in order to load the sites and links, we, we are using Global Mapper. Okay, so I have already loaded the sites and links with the network diagram. So if you want to do, if you want to know how to do it in Map Info, there is an another video in in this playlist. Please refer to that. I also provided the link in the description. Okay. So here I'm going to export the sites and links. Okay. Go to table, export, and then first we are going to import link, export, export as Map Info interchange file, uh, MIF file. Okay, just click on map, map info link MIF. Okay, save it. And then I'm going to export site port. Save. Okay, done. And then I have a folder called TN map data. This is my state. Uh, I captured that I collected the data for my state. Uh, so this is the terrain data. And then we are going to load the terrain data first. Okay. Shift key and then it will open all the data files. Okay. Here we go, and then we will go to map info, load site. So, site and open, and then open, link MF open. Okay, so you just got the sites and the links here okay if you want to find the line of sight between two sites for example this one and this one just click on this tool okay and click on the site left click and then drag it into, into that side and just right click it that's it here you can uh, enter the tower height 45 meters and the another end is 50 meters okay clearance is uh, i'm using 23 gigahertz frequency i need 100 clearance okay yes uh, we have the line of sight for this link Okay, this is how we are going to find the line of sight for these links using Google Mapper. And then another tool is if you are going to install a tower here, for example, in this page, I'm just installing it. Okay. Tower. Okay, so uh, uh, this is a transmitter elevation. This is hundred meter highs. Okay, so if you ins if you have a new site here, then you can find an alternate site or connecting site within this area. So this orange color area mentions that you can able to get a line of sight with this new tower. So that's the meaning of it. Okay, you can also modify this terrain data. For example. Uh, you know that there is a lake in this uh, in this data then you can modify it just click on this link okay create new right click create new feature
right click it while closing it just right click it okay name it is a lake and feature type is okay lake. that's it so these are all the basic things we can do it using global mapper thanks for watching have a nice day